Therapy with Gen X. My name is Jennifer Massad. I am your hostess and I am your beauty therapist. In today's tip of the week, we're going to talk about standard operating procedure, the order of operations when it comes to applying your makeup. Before I get started, if you like the channel, please help me by hitting like, share, and subscribing to the channel. Share the videos with folks you know might enjoy my content. It's how we grow and co-create together. So there are no rules to makeup. I'm telling you what works best in my lifetime experience, um, about 15 years in the beauty industry. Um, so again, these are my judgments and assessments. Feel free to leave them on the table. I um, admire and honor um, my drag queen sisters because they can do a full face and then put all that eye makeup on. Not me. I like to do the eyes first uh, because I don't care who you are, you're going to have shadow fallout. Even if you're doing neutral tone colors on your eyes, when you take a little eye makeup remover right here, you're going to find shadow fallout. Uh, they make things like uh, shadow shields, etc., all those things. Uh, do what works for you. I don't have time for all that. So I put my shadow base on, let that set for a second might put a little eye cream on, might work on my hair, depending on the look I've got going on. And once that sets, uh, then I work on my eyes. I do my eye makeup first, and then I put my lashes on. In my world, lashes always come last when it comes to completing the eye makeup. Once the lashes are set, then I'll throw a little mascara on to zhuzh the lashes into the lash line, clean up the bottom, of my eye makeup where there's any shadow fallout. Again, if I need to, I might put a little uh, fast response eye cream uh, or uh, an eye cream that works well under makeup. And then I will do my foundation. In the meantime, when I let my foundation set, I might work on my brows a little, tune them up a little bit. Um, and I'll um, take off any excess like using the sponge or um, a brush to buff away any streak lines I might see. I'll wait a second and let the foundation set. And then I'll generally start working on my lips. I work on my lips because I really want my foundation, which is long wearing, to set. You don't ever want to do your makeup in a hurry, guys. Yes, yeah, sometimes we only have five minutes. There's a five minute makeup look that I can show you as well. There's a video for that. But you want to utilize your products and make sure they last. So you got to wait for them to set. And if that means you go get dressed while you're doing, while you're waiting for your foundation to set, great. I put primer on my lips and start working on my lips while I let the foundation settle. Then I will go in and finish my face with my cheeks, a little powder under the eyes. I might uh, touch up and finish off any under shadow I want to put on the lower lash line, the mascara, a little bronzer if I feel like it, do a once over, and then set it and forget it. So those are my standard operating procedures when it comes to applying makeup, be it on myself or on you as my client. I hope that helps you out. Remember, like I said, there are no rules. It's about practice, not perfection. As always, I like to end with a little wisdom food for thought. This week's quote comes from, do my best to pronounce her last name, Shauna Nyquist. We are not called to infinite achievement. We are called to love. As always, be you, be true, and love what you do. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.